Hi guys and welcome to this video of SOAP UI test automation. So today we are going to see how we can automate the execution of SOAP UI test suit. So this is the fifth video in this SOAP UI tutorial. So in case you haven't watched my previous video, you can visit the channel and watch the previous videos. So before we actually see the demo of SOAP UI test automation, let's understand some of the theory behind this. So what is SOAP UI test automation? So it is nothing but a process which reduces the manual steps in test suite execution. So when you execute the test suite manually, these are the different steps that you carry out. You open your SOAP UI tool project, we import the project, we run each and every test case, we verify the result. Uh, in case of error, we note down the errors, we create the reports out of it. So SOAP UI automation essentially tries to automate these manual steps. And what is the benefits of test suit automation is that we can save our time so if you have hundreds or two hundreds of test cases so in that case uh, running each and every test case individually will take a lot of time secondly there are chances that when you are verifying the uh, response then you might miss something so there are always chances of human error so test suit automations improve the accuracy it also helps in case of regression, test, uh, regression testing because if you have those test suits created then you can just run the test suit and you can verify whether the all existing functionality is working as expected or not. So now how we can do the test case test suit automation? So that we can do using the test run utility. So this utility is provided by SOAP UI tool and which you can execute by a command line or you can put that particular command into your unix shell script or windows batch script and you can run your test suit which is created in your SOAP UI project so how the test runner knows which test case to run which is the SOAP UI project etc so when we run this particular utility we need to provide few of the arguments to that and these arguments are nothing but the name of the SOAP UI project where it is located which is the test suit that we would be running uh, where would be the reports would be stored in case uh, we wanted to store the reports etc etc so now let's go to demo and see how we can actually do it so this is the SOAP UI project uh, which I have already opened and I have created this test suit and this SOAP UI project is created for calculator operation and I have created four different uh, uh, test uh, test cases for addition, submultiply, division and subtraction so if I open this <coughs> addition test case then you can see that I have put few of the assertions here which will verify that the result I am getting is 744 or not so in case of uh, actual work you could have different of assertions here to verify whether the response matches your expectations so if you are not familiar with assertions I would request you to go through the uh, SOAP UI assertions video in my channel so similar assertions I have put on the other test cases as well so when we want to run all this but all the this test cases or other when I want to run whole this whole test suit so in this I'll right click here and click on this launch test on the tab so when you launch this window you will see different operations for example what is the test suit that you need to run here so in this case as we only have one test suit so that's why uh, we are getting either all or that particular test suit name so in case of test case also you have that choice whether you can run all the test cases or you can run a particular uh, uh, test case so this is a test runner path so by default SOAP UI picks up the test runner path so you don't need to provide it and then then you can also override the endpoint here then you can also create the generate report so for that for for this exercise i have clicked on this print report summary to the console tab and the export tab and this is the directory where it would store the reports then you can also create some of the properties here which your soap project might uh, need so now I'll click on launch op uh, launch button so when i click on launch button it gives me this uh, logging window where it logs all the kind of uh, uh, different http log that you get when you uh, read this case so initially it takes some few seconds of time because uh, it initializes the soap ui settings but once it but those settings are initialized then test case execution doesn't take uh, much of the time so as you can see it it prints out a particular command that that uh, this particular utility runs so i'll copy this file as well so, but before that let's see the results so so as you can see that execution has finished successfully and it 
it has printed out the summary that we have run total test for uh, four test cases and out of that zero is failed total number of test steps are four total number of assertion that it has verified are six and total exported results are also four so looking at this summary you can see how many test cases have been failed or how many are passed so if you have hundreds or two hundreds of test cases then you can look at this summary report and you can say whether that test case test suit is successfully passed or not so i'll copy a this command here which has been uh, which has been printed so I copied it here I'll paste it into notepad so that you can see it in detail so as you can see it has run this test another bat utility it has provided this test suit name using this minus a minus s uh, uh, attribute similarly it using this uh, a it is gonna print it to the uh, console and using minus r it is gonna uh, rather let's look, let's look at the different arguments that we can pass so this is the uh, soap your official documentation and here you can see all the different kinds of parameters that you pass to a particular command so as we are seeing a turns out the exporting of all results and out R does printing of uh, small summary report and this my this minus F it it uh, tells you the directory where you can uh, put the reports and this is the soap your projects so as so let's see the folder where it has put up the uh, reports so I think it was on desktop so as you can see it has created this uh, reports for every, for example for this positivity request it has created this uh, file which contains everything it contains the raw request that has been sent similarly the response that was received what is it what is the http status what is the time at which it was received what is the content time so this will so these logs contain everything about the request that you have fired and the response that you have get so looking at this particular uh, data you can very easily find out which is the particular thing that we need to uh, look at so uh, as you can see here to so as you can see here uh, this is some old file which I'll be deleting it so I was just doing some uh, kind of a test before recording this video so I'll delete this so as you can see for all the test cases it has given this status as okay so now what I'll do so first of all let's try to run the same thing from command line so just copy this particular thing and what you have to do is that you need to go to that place where soap is installed so most of the time it will install in c program files in smart beer in soap you have 5.0 under bin so you can see under bin you have this test runner windows batch file so this particular batch file you can use to execute that same command which we had seen via SOPIA tool. So if you have installed SOPIA on Linux then you will have a shell script to uh, for the same purpose. So I have opened the command prompt and I have pasted the same command which was run via SOPIA tool and I am hitting enter. So now it is performing the same task that it was performing while uh, it was uh, uh, running this file. So as we discussed, it will take one or two seconds of time to initially load the SOAP UI settings. So let's wait for some time. So before it runs, I'll delete the files also from that directory so that you will look at the uh, latest files in that case. So I have removed the report also so now it has started loading the files and uh, executing the different test case so as you can see that it has printed out the test case summary so that which, which tells us that all the all four test cases have been passed successfully so it here also it has created the uh, created this particular uh, reports so what I'll do now I'll just uh, change the assertion for let's say one of these test steps so in, I'll add one more assertion here which will I'll deliberately put kind, some kind of a random value so that my assertion will not match to that of the response and my test case will fail so now I'll save this project 
and now I'll, I'll again run this uh, particular uh, test suit so I'll first delete the report generated the new window so I'll again paste it so I'll again run this release again so in this case what we are expecting is that that our test case uh, our test suit should not be able to run successfully and we should get one failure out of the four test cases that we are running But so as we have seen that it just takes time to initially load the settings but once uh, the settings are uh, uh, settings are loaded in that case uh, it does not take much time to actually run the test cases so when you have 100 or 200 test cases so it won't take time to run those 100 test cases but it will take only time to load the soap ui settings so as you can see in this case we have got the failure here so if i scroll up a bit you will see that so you can see here that it has given the log that one is failed out of four and it has also given us the detail on why it has failed so here you can see that particular assertion is not matching here so uh, you can see here that the the response whatever the response is there it has printed that response and i'll go to the reports which will give us the details as well so I've opened this also. You can see that this particular for this particular subtraction report, it has appended failed in front of it. So if when I open it, it will show me why it why uh, that particular. So, so you can see here that contains. So this assertion is failed here. This is not matching in the response that we have received. So looking at this particular file, you can very easily uh, try to find out why that particular test case has failed. And if you have hundreds of test cases here, you can use some kind of a scripting to determine if that particular file name contains OK, OK status or failed status. So you can run a particular script and you can you can create your own report which will tell you uh, which are the test cases that are passed and which are the test cases that have failed. So uh, one more thing I want to highlight here that you might face this error when you run the test runner utility, which which says that global groovy dot log is not uh, is is not found and access is denied. Or you can also get this particular error which which will tell you that auto discovery method factory uh, is not found or something class not found exception. So in case you get this kind of error, I'll I'll request you to watch my video on how to resolve these errors. So I have already pasted the link in the description section. So guys, I hope this video have given you the insights on how we can run the uh, how we can automate it test uh, soap ui test suit and it will definitely help you to excel in your project thank you guys for watching and please subscribe to my channel for getting regular updates about the uh, latest video that i upload